Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm working in my art journal and it's inspired by the holidays. Now, is it the traditions of the holidays? Is it the excitement of the holidays? Is it family? Well, sort of. It's really inspired by the stress and I just needed that creative outlet to help me oh, just have some time for myself, de-stress, get that out of my system so I could get back to enjoying what I really like about the holidays. So here in this video, you're going to see me grab my art journal, add a whole bunch of color to it with gelatos and get the message that I needed from my muse. Now, if you're new to art journaling, the way it works is you make stuff on a page in a journal. That's pretty much all there is to it. And for me, whatever's on my mind is what ends up on the page. And Christmas is on my mind. So out of book text, I made those very fancy tree shapes. Yes, <laughs> triangles. And I'm using some gelatos to give them some color. Now, the rainbow brings me joy, and that's what I'd like to get from this, so that's why I'm going to use all sorts of colors on this. I'm not going to just stick with the traditional Christmas colors. I'm going to play with whatever calls to me. And what I'm doing is putting the gelatos on just one side of the tree, and then using a paintbrush with just water to spread it to the other side. I'm also going to do this on some straight pieces to create the trunks for the trees. And you'll also notice that I'm working right in my art journal right now. The extra that runs over the edges as I'm doing that, that's being captured and caught right there on that art journal page. Not a speck of this color is going to be wasted because that's going to become part of the background. Well, I am not a big fan of white space, so I like to get color on just about everything. So I'm going to put some gelatos on here to make a yellow sky, kind of a golden sky. And I'm going to do a green for the grass on the bottom kind of thing. So I'm going to put the trees on top of this. And I'm going to bring in that same brush with that same fancy stuff, plain old H2O, and I'm just going to blend and smear it around. The stuff that was already on the page, that's going to peek through and just add another layer to it. Now, I'm not going to wait for anything to dry perfectly or completely. I'm just going to keep right on playing. So once I've got the background here, I'm going to arrange the trees and their stems, stems, their trunks. They're not stems. These aren't flowers. These are trees. Those are trunks on there. This is the very fancy book text with the gelatos right on there. And I'm even going to coordinate the trunk to match the tree. Now that I've got it just where I want it, it's time to glue it down. So I've got some gel medium there and I'm spreading that around with the spatula. I'm putting some under it and some over it. But I want to keep the trees in the exact same place that they were. But yeah, it's not going to happen. The trees are not going to stay perfectly where I wanted them because I have to keep moving them to glue the ones underneath. Now this is one of those days where I'm entertaining my muse. She gets a big old laugh when I spend time figuring out where everything's going to go, like these trees. And then when I start gluing it down, the plan gets thrown out and things start moving around all over again. And I'm trying to find that spot where I like everything because I had it at one point, but now everything's moving. And in the process of doing this, I'm actually going to not use one of the trees that I made. That blue purple tree, yeah, it's not going to end up on the page. And this frequently happens to me. These kinds of things, anytime stuff like this happens, I call them an oops, an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. I may not have expected this to happen, but it just might be a good thing. Now that my trees are glued down, it's time to bring in some gesso. Now I'm going to use gesso kind of like a white paint here. It's going to go around the trees. I'm painting it very loosely around those trunks. See, I remembered they're not stems from earlier. And you might also be thinking, hey, wait a minute. Earlier in the video, didn't she say she didn't really like a lot of white space and now she's putting white on top of it? Yeah, that's true. Uh huh. <laughs> the nice part about putting this white here is it's making the trees pop and it is letting a little bit of what's underneath peek through. I want to add some journaling or some touches to the tops of the trees. So what I've got here are the paper crafter crayons. And these things are fun because they twist and that's how you move the, the crayon part up. And as I'm doing this, you might think, hey, this doesn't show up much. And that's true. That's because the trees are still damp from the gel medium. And these are crayons. So imagine writing with a crayon on something that's damp. What's going to happen is, is it doesn't show up as much. So why on earth would I want to use something if it's not going to show up as much? Because it gives a great subtleness to it. It's going to create all this variation in the trees without me having to think or work extra hard at it. 
So the pink or the red tree there was much drier, so the crayon showed up more on that as I'm doing some scribble journaling along it. The trees that are damper, well, those, it's not going to show up as much. And it's going to look like I had this great big plan of how to make the variation and the interest there in it. But you and I both know, nope, I'm just not waiting for things to dry. Now, I had a couple of little oopsies as I was doing this. On the really damp trees, some of them got little bits, little rips and tears in them, especially in the green and the orange tree over there. And to me, those are just outstanding opportunities presenting suddenly for a little extra layer work, a little extra texture. Because what was the option for me was to wait until everything dried, and I'm not going to do that. On my art journal pages, I like to put a title, and this time I found the words in the newspaper. And I just cut out the words that I wanted from headlines. And I'm going to add some gelatos on them to add some more color to it because, well, I'm all about the color today because that's helping me shake up all the stress that I was feeling before, which is completely fading away now, which to me was the whole reason why I grabbed my art journal. But anyway, so I've got these. These just newsprint. So that is thin, cheap newsprint that I'm doing this with. And that's going to lead to, well, some challenges. Yep, a big oops is about to happen with these. So I'm gluing them down with some gel medium, and they're nice and juicy, which is going to be part of the problem. But anyway, let's move on to the next layer. I'm taking a piece of the scrapbook text from when I was cutting out the trees, and I'm going to customize it to whatever color that I want. Then using a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut a very complex and detailed shape out. Now, actually, it's not going to be complex, and it's not going to be detailed. It is just a basic wonky heart. So why did I choose hearts instead of stars or something Christmassy? Well, that's because the words are head home to the heartland. So I did some more of these with more colors to match the trees because I wanted to put a heart with each one. And here comes the problem because remember I said the gel medium was still really wet? Turns out when you put paper on top of it, it'll stick to wet gel medium. Yeah, shocker there that glue, glue will stick to things. As I'm lifting this up, Part of the word is disappearing because that was just newsprint. That was not very sturdy paper. So now I have a great big oops, my outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. The word that ripped up was the word heart, so I am just going to take that little orange heart and put it right on top of where it was, and now my words still say the same thing. Well, the original plan was to put hearts on top of each tree like a tree topper. But after the oops, I realized I want the sky full of hearts. So instead of stars, it's going to be hearts. So I'm just going to keep cutting more of these little hearts out here and there, arranging them, and then gluing these things down. Well, thanks so much for joining me for a little holiday art journaling stress-relieving play. If you've been enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you know of somebody that you think would enjoy a little more play in their day, we'd so appreciate it if you shared this video with them. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.